As Saiyans, our worth as warriors is measured and judged at birth. He's not just gonna pull a piccolo and just change sides. For the first time ever, he's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. Well, Yes. Oh, no, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. On March 1st of 2024, Akira Toriyama passed away and that is not an easy thing to say. I know a lot of people are going to talk about all the amazing work he's done through Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest, making of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z Kai, but I just really want to focus on the fact that he made my childhood. I remember just coming back from school, randomly finding an episode of Dragon Ball Z and, you know, just watching it and I thought it was super cool and then finding out that he made Dragon Ball and watching that and connecting with all of the stories he's made through these characters and at my age at the age of 25 I'm about to be 26 I find myself re-watching these shows just to relive my childhood and to that I can never thank you enough Akira Toriyama to his family to his friends to the people that are closest to him um yeah it's it's a major loss and to the people watching this, I know you resonate with what I'm saying because I know for a fact he's touched you in the same way as well. Whether you're older than me or you're younger and you've sat through all of this, Team 4 Star making the Dragon Ball Z Abridged series which is really funny and honestly the versions of Goku and Vegeta that still told the story of Akira Toriyama's Goku and Vegeta and everyone but with a funny twist. Unfortunately that's all gone. I just want to point out something and just say that if there's anything that I learned from Akira Toriyama is that creativity is a power that we all hold. It all just depends on do we want to make something out of it? Are we able to persevere? Are we able to push through our limits and really really make a mark of ourselves he did that he told those stories and i'm sure everyone that he has touched can say for a fact that at least now you should give it a try do what you can i have to say this is one of the hardest videos to make and i hope if you ever find this in the future, I hope to anyone just watching this, go back and watch everything Akira Toriyama has made, play through his games that he's been a part of, really experience who is Akira Toriyama. And if you have, do it again. And it's up to us to keep the legacy of Akira Toriyama alive, like Dragon Ball and so on. But as we're moving on, I do want to address the things that I have been seeing on Twitter. And I have to say to those of you who are celebrating his death, because you are some sjw warrior that think you're edgy and you think that like oh because he's a man he shouldn't deserve his fame or whatever yeah i'm talking to all of the people part of gamergate fuck you for dragging the entire dragon ball and akira toriyama fan base into this you have no right doing that and honestly you all are fucking pricks for this how dare you desecrate his name? How dare you go ahead and spout the random shit you're spouting? I hope one day you get what's coming to you in some sort of miraculous karma and know that you will never be loved the same as Akira Toriyama was. You will never be respected the same way as Akira Toriyama was. And personally, fuck you. Fuck you for trying to desecrate his name. Fuck you for trying to go ahead and glorify the fact that he's dead. And fuck you for trying to even diminish what he did to a lot of people, to the millions of people across the world i actually i would say billions fuck you and you don't even have that same reach go fuck yourself and i swear to god i hope to god right one day you actually go ahead and apologize to the entire community fucking pricks i just want to say a special thank you to all of south america um i wish i could be doing this in spanish so you know i could actually do it mostly for you guys because i know there's a huge fan base of dragon ball down there um but if you do find this, thank you so much for honoring Akira Toriyama and his legacy and 
I really do appreciate it. A lot of love for you guys and for the entire Dragon Ball community. If you end up finding my channel or you watch all the way through, look, I just want to say the Dragon Ball community has been amazing. I've been a part of it since as long as I could remember and I hope this continues. I hope Dragon Ball flourishes and I hope no matter what happens, we always have something to commemorate or, you know, to enjoy Akira Toriyama's work. But with that being said, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you dislike it, and practically, goodbye Akira Toriyama. Thank you for everything.